This is your 20-minute podcast, where we do our best to give you useful information in 20 minutes or less. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com forward slash your 20-minute podcast. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Now, here's your host, David Brower. This is David Brower with our special guest, Kelly Fernandez from Canada, and she is a fitness and nutrition expert, a certified fitness instructor, a certified personal trainer. Oh, and she's a head self-love junkie. I love that. What does that mean? (laughs) It means I help you love yourself in body, mind, and spirit. Oh my goodness. That's that's called balance, right? Yes, it is. What a concept. Good (laughs) for you. And you have a registered name called Fit Chicks. Um, yeah, so that is a certification that I have. Oh, okay. With the company Fit Chicks, which is also ah, an awesome company. Yep. Gotcha. Very cool. Yep. And you're a yoga teacher. You're a manifestation coach. Wow. You touch people in a lot of ways and probably a lot of ways that they need but don't expect. Is that a fair statement? Yeah. And, you know, it's funny because when you think of a fitness instructor or a yoga teacher, or even like a nutrition coach, you don't always see or think of the mind and the spiritual side. So when I say spiritual, that can mean many things for different people. It can be your connection to source or God, but it can also just mean a connection really with yourself and checking in with yourself. But in so many things that I do when I teach online group fitness or I teach yoga, a lot of mindset comes in to it. So it really is a hand in hand thing. That makes a lot of sense. And you're, there's a lot of, let me think here, weight loss, food obsession, depression. <laughs> you're, oh, you're talking about my, my life now. <laughs> God, I'm talking about my life, kid. I was, I, that was on my bio. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, I mean, you really get, you get really get down in the trenches with these folks. I do. And, you know, how everything came about and what I'm doing now is because of everything that I have lived. And I really think that's the way that we all really teach from. We teach from our own experiences. And so my journey started when I found myself 217 pounds and I had two kids. You may think, oh, you know, she gained the weight because of children. No, actually, I was heavy my entire 20s due to a metabolic disorder. And I looked at my kids and I saw how I had little energy and I didn't feel good in the body that I had. And I wanted to be able to, really my goal was I wanted to be able to run down the beach with the girls when we're on vacation and not just lay in the sun and just be like, oh, leave mommy alone. Nice. So that was really my first why. And after I'd gotten help, after I had reached a healthy weight and I was doing all those things, I started to look at my life and I realized I was in a corporate job. I am also a certified industrial hygienist. (laughs) So you could add that to the. Oh, there you go. So that's like occupational health and safety, asbestos. And I just realized that that wasn't serving me anymore. I, I wanted to serve people at a higher level. And I actually left um, my corporate job. And my problem with that is like, I encourage people to be entrepreneurs, but I actually left without a plan. And without that plan in place, I started to go into a downward spiral. You bet. When I left that job, I believe I already was in a depression, but didn't know it. I was kind of a walking zombie. And it actually Mm -hmm. took a year for me to realize that I was not healthy mentally and that I needed help. And so I received the help that I needed. Part of that was yoga. Part of that was therapy. I always kept up with my fitness and my health. So that was also a major part in keeping me healthy. And as I started to get better, I realized that's how self-love, health, and wellness was born. I realized that all of these things are important in our lives. It's not just losing weight. It's not just our mindset. And it's not just our spirituality. It's all of it connected and, and who you feel you are and feeling happy and content in the body, mind, and spirit that you have. Wow. That is amazing. I got to ask you, I think it seems like when you were going through therapy and uh, battling Mm -hmm. depression, one of the main things I would think that really helped you was keeping up your fitness and exercise. And 
I don't know how you do that when you're depressed. It's tough. And I share that with a lot of my clients who are on anxiety and depression meds and getting therapy as well, is the last thing you want to do when you're depressed is get out of bed. That really, to be honest, like you just want to lay in bed. And when I was in therapy, we were speaking about only doing things that you want to do. So you would not make a move until you got into the right mindset or the right feeling in order to do whatever activity it is. So really bringing yourself back to who you are and what you really want, which in this day and age, we never really ask ourselves anymore. We never really sit there and and ask ourselves, wait, how am I feeling today? Do I want to do this? Yeah. A lot of times we feel like we have to do things. Oh, I have to do this. I have. And there are things we have to do. I get, you know, we need to pay our bills and stuff, but there's other things. I don't need to read about my feelings on Facebook. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Or read all the social media content that's throwing, thrown at you all the time. You can totally take a box off of that. And I realized that, especially for yoga, for me, that was Mm -hmm. so important for my mental health. And it was almost like when I was in my depression, I was like, okay, I, I need to do that. But it's not just that I need to, I want to. There you go. Yeah. And you need to, I find, I, I really believe it when you're in a depression, you need to get to that feeling place of what you want to do. So not like I have to go for a run to stay healthy. What is it that you want to do? Do you want to just dance in your kitchen and just move your body? Do it because guess what? That's going to get you to a better feeling place anyway. And if you feel like you have to, and correct me if I'm wrong, but if you feel like you have to do something, doesn't that feed the depression where when you want to do something that takes you away from it? Exactly. That's exactly it. Because that feeling of of want to is you're pushing, you're pushing yourself to do something and then you can just go right back down into a spiral. But when you sit and you figure out what really feels good and you're like, I'm going to do that, then it's almost easier, right? Yeah, absolutely. So the most important question is, though, did you run down the beach with your girls? Absolutely. (laughs) That a girl. (laughs) Absolutely. Our first vacation after losing all the weight was one of our best vacations because I was playing in the water with them. And when they were like, mommy, you know, let's go do the craft over there. I'm like, yeah, let's go do it. And we would go and it was fantastic. Man, I got goosebumps on that one. That's, I mean, that's special stuff that never goes away. That's lifetime memories for you and for them, you know? Yeah. How old were they when you, when you hit the water with them? Um, they were around, so one would be maybe two and the other one was five. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's, oh my gosh. I could just, I can visualize it with those little kids. That's pretty cool. So you have, uh, let's see. So you have live group fitness and yoga. How does that work? Yeah. So it's actually really new in the industry. I'm one of the first health and wellness companies to offer this. And essentially what it is, is you get the same experience, or I say better experience, (laughs) of doing a fitness class, uh, a boot camp, or a yoga class uh, that you would get in a gym, only you don't have to leave your house. And how it works is you come on into a virtual studio with me, and you meet me in my studio, in my home, I have an in-home studio, and we all work out together live and interactive. So when I'm like, how's everyone doing? Woo woo! I want to hear that woo woo back. Yeah. So you still get that feedback from everyone. And, you know, you get an amazing workout in one hour. And then you can just close your computer and go back to what you were doing. Yeah. So there's no commute. There's no, you know, fighting for a parking spot. (laughs) There's no fighting for a spot in class. If you've ever been a member of a gym, you understand that struggle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's the, there's the $35 a month that you yeah. quit paying <laughs> because you didn't exactly. go. So when you're doing, I'm intrigued by that. So it's an online live group fitness and yoga. So they can see you in your studio. Can you see them also? Yep. Yeah. And we okay. all see each other. Really? Wow. Yeah. So, it, so you still get that community feel without leaving your home. My Goodness, that's brilliant. I've never heard of that before. That's got to be. I know. <laughs> that's life changing. Good for you. It is. It is, especially for a lot of busy parents. Right. And um, 
and entrepreneurs, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you could lock up your office and just do it at work, you know? Totally. Totally. Wow. That's fascinating. And I teach classes at lunch I, that for that specific reason. So how many classes a day do you do or a week or how do you organize your schedule for those live shows? Yeah. So I have like live, I have about uh, seven classes. Okay. And then I also teach in-studio yoga in my studio. So I'm pretty busy. I, I teach most nights, <laughs> afternoons, and a, and a couple of mornings Okay. during the week. Yeah. And then do you have your own uh, personal masseuse to take care of you? Yeah, I, I have a whole slew of osteopaths and RMTs and all that stuff. That I mean, you'd have to have that with that yeah. kind of schedule, you know? Yeah. And I even have my own trainer, right? We all, you know, no matter how far up you get into that quote unquote expert right, right, right. <laughs> title, you always need a coach. You know, accountability is a big thing and we all need it. Yeah. You know, even, even the fitness instructor, super, you know, healthy personal trainer, we need that accountability too. Right. And that's actually another part of, of the online group fitness community is that I also provide free accountability and mindset coaching as a part of that program. So you know, David, if you're like, Kelly, I'm going to be there, you know, Wednesday and Friday to your online class and, you know, you're pumped. And then I start seeing, oh, wait, where's David? Yeah. You'll get a little love note from me, a little text <laughs> like, hey, you know, I didn't see you signed up for class. Are you coming? And and a lot of times, you, you know, you the reply you get is, oh, my gosh, thank you so much for reaching out. Right. You know, I was totally going to blow you off and now I'm going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like the. It's like the commercial where they're pretending to be honest, you know, yeah. and they're, they're, they're really, they're really telling you how they actually feel. Oh, I was really going to blow you off, but okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's awesome. I love that. So yeah. tell me about the mindset stuff. What does that mean? So within an actual, um, like fitness class or yoga class, yeah, I speak a lot to doing what your body can do with the body and mind that you brought into the studio. So a lot of times when we either walk into a yoga class or a fitness class, we look around, we see what other people are doing. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, she, he or she is better than me. So I really try to bring ourselves back into ourselves and focus on what we can do mm -hmm. and celebrating those successes. So, you know, for like with specifically within like my boot camp class, for example, someone that uh, could only do, you know, a few push ups from their knees, you know, four weeks later is banging them out like there's no tomorrow, wow. focusing on that and celebrating that and really retraining our minds mm -hmm. to focus on all the great things we can do as opposed to all the great things everyone else can do and we can't. <laughs> wow. That is a, that's a serious mindset because you, yeah. You put yourself first, you face your fears, which I would think, I mean, fear is such a big impact on everybody's life in different ways, but that's got to be a piece of this puzzle too, to help people turn the corner. Absolutely. And like you said, we all go through our own fear in whatever we're working on, whatever we're doing, right? Right. And the first step in any wellness or fitness program is just getting there, right? <laughs> and then you get there. And, you know, that fear sets in of, can I do this? Will I do this? And if you just have your coach standing there saying, yes, you can. Yes, you can. That is all you need sometimes yeah. to, to just go and do it. And I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen someone look up at me and I'm like, you can do this. And they, their head goes right back down and they're, you know, they're banging out their rows or they're nice. doing their jumping jacks. Right. Right. All we need sometimes is just that person to look you in the eye and say, yeah, you can do this. And the hardest part is to show up. Yep. Right. That is the hardest part. That's the first step. That's the first step. And then, uh, wow, that's terrific what you do. So if you have a, if you're doing an online live group fitness and yoga class and one of your students is in Canada and the other one is in, in Florida, I mean, do they have an opportunity to connect and have develop a friendship offline, for lack of a better term? Yeah, absolutely. We have a Facebook group that we all kind of connect in and share. Nice. It's called Self Love Junkie Support Group, of course. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. Duh. And um, yeah, and so that's a way that people can connect, you know, and in this day and age, it's so easy to send a message and like we're doing now, Skype, and yeah. you can even see each other face to face. And so, yeah, it's really great 
And I've seen, you know, what's really been interesting is I've seen people's businesses flourish just from being a part of the community because they have gotten ideas of collaboration and have gone out and created, you know, their own health programs in collaboration. Yeah, it's been really, really awesome and really awesome to see people's bottom line (laughs) change. And there's a, there's a joke in there somewhere, but I'll let it go. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> there is. We'll let other people come up with a book on their own. <laughs> but I got to think, as you say that, I got to think that if you have, and I'm sure you do from time to time, have business people in there and you're proving their, their balance of their life, mind, body, spirit, and they go back to work, man, that's going to, without even doing anything, just the aura, if you will, that, that they now are giving off that they weren't giving off a month ago is going to help their relationships and their business. Absolutely. It's funny that you say that. I just kind of did a I just did a post on that a couple days ago. And basically, you know, I was saying when you feel good, you look good. Right. And you exude that confidence and it can help, you know, it will help with closing that deal, selling that product because people will be attracted to you. They'll be like, "Ooh, what is this person doing? Why I know, right? why is he or she so exuberant and has so much vitality? They they'll be attracted to that, right? Yeah, and then they have that, you know, they have that uh, head self-love junkie t-shirt on and so <laughs> you know, put a That's fork right. in me, I'm done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so have you written a book yet? Not yet. You're going to, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to, for I think sure. So. Because, yeah, I think yeah, so. It's a good story. <laughs> yeah, it is a great story. So how can people get in touch with you and learn more about you and learn how uh, you can help them? Yeah, well, of course, they can always head over to my website, which is selflovehw.com. So okay. selflovehealthandwellness.com. I'm also on Instagram, uh, at selflovehw. And you can find me on Facebook as well. Very good. And you're offering a a free seven-day radical self-love challenge. What is that about? Absolutely. So every day you get me in your inbox (laughs) for seven days. And we do different exercises to help you love yourself in body, mind, and spirit. So it actually includes a free workout that you do with me. And each day it builds on that. So I don't want to tell too much because right, right, it's a little right. bit of a secret. Yep. But you know, we go into, you know, feeding your mind, talking about um like meditation and that kind of stuff. And okay. yeah. And they can yep. access that on your website? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Hey, mm-hmm. uh, I'm impressed, Kelly. Really nice job. And uh, you are touching when you touch people, then other people touch people, and then other people touch I mean, you're like creating this. Uh, immense new version of word of mouth. You know what I mean? It's really cool. Yep. It's yep. really cool. Hats off to you. A self-love junkie movement. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I'm seeing, I, seriously, I'm seeing t-shirts. I mean, if you don't yep. have a t-shirt, you got to get on it. I have a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, outstanding. Uh, this has been great fun, Kelly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. You've been listening to your 20-minute podcast with our special guest, Kelly Fernandez. Be sure to check out her website. Again, it's selflovehw.com. You've been listening to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did. And be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash your 20-minute podcast. Until next time, don't forget to download your free audiobook at audibletrial.com forward slash your 20-minute podcast. That's audibletrial.com forward slash your 20-minute podcast for your free audiobook. And thanks for listening to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower.